this next exercise on sound placement, we're going to talk about low register instead of the middle and upper registers, um, especially for females that have a hard time really getting down to those lower notes. A lot of times the reason why you're doing that is because you're still thinking vertically for pitch. You think somehow a low note is down here and a high note is up here. But what you don't realize is that the sound travels to those areas, but they're not made in those areas. So let's bring up physics again and acoustics, okay? So when you hit a sound wave or you create a sound wave, here's one, okay? And here's another one. The frequency will find the speaker it needs to resonate within for volume. So I want you to do something with me. Take your hand, <clears throat> put it on your chest, okay? And if you're a girl, you're gonna sing this note. If you're a guy, you're gonna sing this note. And what I want you to feel is the vibration in your chest because that's where the sound is going to go. Ah, I can feel it vibrating right here. Ah. You feel that? You feel your chest vibrating a little bit? Ah. Now, we're going to go an octave above that, and we're going to hit the octave at the same note, an octave up. Ah. Leave your hand there. Ah. Notice how you do not feel your chest vibrating? Because the sound has moved on, okay? Now the sound is up here. Ah. More toward the jaw and the throat and the head. That's why they call it head voice or chest voice. It's not up or down. It's just traveling where it needs to as a speaker. But the sound is still created in the same space. So the next thing I want you to do is hold your larynx. This is your larynx, okay? This is where the voice box is, sitting inside of your windpipe. <clears throat> when you make sound, the sound wave is created and it travels to whatever speaker it's going to travel to. But since you're thinking up and down, you have a tendency to push up or reach up or push down. When it comes to low notes, you go like this and you're pushing your larynx down and you're thinking down. And I see it more often than not. I can actually hear it when a client is in the vocal booth and I can't see them. I know when they're pushing their larynx down to get that low note. So we're gonna try a different experiment. Ladies, <clears throat> we're gonna go below this A, which is a lot of times difficult for people who are not alto, but we're gonna do it anyways. But we're gonna think forward and out of the face. In the last exercise, we talked about the hard palate. This time, we're going to keep it on the teeth, okay? So we're going to show me your teeth, and we're going to go, me. Notice how I'm smiling. Me. Now watch what happens when I push my larynx down. Me. I start bottoming out, right? But if I keep my larynx up, me. push down. So it's harder for me to push down now, but you know, anyway, here's the next one. Me. Keep that larynx right there in your fingers. Don't take your hands off your larynx, okay? We're saying may because we're pulling the sound forward onto the teeth. Mm, may. We got the A because it's flattened and it brings the sound forward into the hard palate, okay? And even though it's a low note and it's resonating in your chest as well, don't push your larynx down, okay? So let's go down to the next one. Go like this. Mm, may. Smile so that your tongue pulls up a little bit. May. Got it? May. up like you're vomiting the note out because we're going lower I know that seems really low but if you push down you've got to you you'll feel it you can see it if you're looking in the mirror you're gonna see yourself go down with your larynx so keep your hand there down. May, may. Notice how I haven't pushed my larynx down yet? Okay. So I know this is really low. That's actually E to um, <clears throat> E flat. 
below middle C, so it's, it's way down there. But practice that. Keep your larynx up, smile, look into the mirror, work on those low notes, and eventually you'll be able to really get down to them very easily. So you can just be like, get that smoky sound without going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay? So good luck with that. And again, if you have any questions about placement, send me a message and I'll do you another exercise, okay? Chop it out.